Hello my friends. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the views. A view is a simple building block of a user interface. It's a small rectangular box that can be text view, edit text, or even a button. It occupies the area on the screen in a rectangular area and it's responsible for drawing and event handling, exactly like this image. So you want to be a professional Android app developer, but you don't know where you should start, what things you should learn. You came to the right place. Welcome to our top bestseller Android app development course, a comprehensive program designed to equip you with the skills and knowledge required to excel in the exciting field of Android app development. view all the android gui elements are subclasses of the view object user interfaces are composed of a combination of views a view is a java class or a kotlin class that inherits or inherits directly from the java object class the root of the java class hierarchy Views are the basic building block for all G Android GUI elements and serve as the base class for all GUI widgets. So, for example, what this complicated image and hierarchy were displaying for me. I need from you to understand one thing, that the view is the parent class we have text view, we have analog clock, image view, progress bar, and other view groups. I will talk about it in the next slides, but I want from you now to concentrate with me with these widgets, the text view, edit text, button, text clock, digital clock, chronometer, image button, and checkbox, radio button, switch, toggle button. I don't want from you to understand and uh, memorize this hierarchy. You can write it down on your copybook, but I want from you to understand that the edit text is a view, button is a view, text view is a view, image view is a view. These widgets, these views, we're gonna talk about them in details in the next videos. Okay, so this is the hierarchy of the view. Now let's talk about the view group view group is a special subclass of the view class that serves as a container for multiple views it's very important please write it down on your copy book this note it's a container for multiple views there are several useful widgets that extend the view group class most are actually subclasses of another view group known as layouts so the layouts that will that we have seen them here the absolute layout linear grid layout relative framework um, and uh, the constraint layouts and other layouts that we'll see them in the next videos are extended extending from the view group that in turns extends from the view okay i want to uh, from you to understand these concepts so view group layouts are a special type of view group that serve as the framework for organizing an app's multiple views on the device screen so the layout is responsible for organizing the views the multiple views on the screen there are several layout types, each having its own properties and or parameters. We'll talk about layouts in more details in another lesson. 